In this video, I'll teach you how to easily determine if you have a filter of any kind applied to your project. Has this ever happened to you? You open one of your projects and to your horror you discover that you have tasks missing and ID numbers missing in your project. Well, I can tell you that's usually caused by filters being applied to the project. In this video, I'll show you the easy way to determine which filters are applied and then how to remove those filters. So let's get started. I just inherited this project from a fellow project manager who left the company. There's something terribly wrong with this project. It's a mess. There's a bunch of tasks missing. I don't know where they went or how to bring them back. If you ever run into a scenario anything like this where you have missing task ID numbers and you don't know where they went, you've probably got a filter of some kind applied to the project. Here's how you can find out for sure. If you look in the lower left corner of your Microsoft Project application window at the status bar, Microsoft Project will display one or two messages telling you about filters. Look in the lower left corner of my project. I can see the filter applied message and if I float my mouse pointer over it, it says the using resource dot 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 filter is currently applied. Well, that would explain one thing. To the right of it, I see an auto filter applied message and I can see auto filters are applied to the duration column. The fastest way to clear both types of filters is to use the keyboard shortcut F three function key. If you press the F3 function key, that will remove all types of filters currently applied to your project and show you every task in your project again. Well, I sure hope you found the information in this video to be helpful to you with using Microsoft Project. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a like. I'd encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Remember to click the notifications button as well. If you have questions, be sure and ask them in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.